people are always asking me for my models and I want to show you a pretty awesome model that you can download if you have a PTC customer account. It is the PTC World Car model and I've used it in a bunch of my videos. And let's jump over to a web browser and then I'll show you a few things about this assembly. In a web browser, go to support.ptc.com and you will need a customer account. In other words, you create an account and then link it to your Creo licenses via the sales order number or your customer number or your site ID number. And I've got an account, of course. Let me log in with my account username and password. And here I am on the support homepage. Let me now search the knowledge base. And in the knowledge base, Search for World Car, W O R L D C A R, and then when I hit the enter key, it comes up with 22 results. If you want to narrow the list down, check the box for Creo and Pro Engineer product family, and then hit the apply button. Now we only have six different links over here, and we can see that some of the links down near the bottom are for the World Car data set. 295 meg. I'll click on this link. And here we are on the page, and it says it applies to all the way back to Pro Engineer Wildfire 4 and 5. This was a signature data set for PTC a long time ago, back in I think the early 2000s or so. And then if you click on the little link, you'll be able to download the file, and then you will have the World Card data set. All right, so after you download the zip file and unzip it, you can open up the first file in the folder. It is called PTC EDC WorldCar.ASM, and you can see that there are three different subassemblies. Right now, there is a notification for the first subassembly. If I go to the notification center, it just says that there are five outdated pipe solids. Let's click on the link to open up the notification center you can see the different ones in here and if you really care about it you can right click on the different ones and update the pipe solids but it's not really going to affect your use of the assembly let me close out of here let's go to that first sub assembly and open it up in its own separate window all right, so this is the first subassembly. By the way, you will notice with the names of the components, yeah, they have PTC EDC in the name. You could do some renaming if you really care. That might work. And in this subassembly, you see a bit of stipling because we have some surfaces from skeletons overlapping on some solids. If you want to get rid of that, just go to your layers. I have the icon for layers in my quick access toolbar. And then if you take a look in here, there are a bunch of layers. Some of them are in German. And let's see, here is a layer for the skeletons. And it just has the symbol to indicate that it is a bunch of bundled skeletons inside of here. You can see the ones that are listed. I'm going to right mouse click and create a new layer. And since I had skeleton selected, it's going to create one with that name. Let's go to the rules tab and then options, independent, options, associative, edit rules. And I'm going to look for, let's change the drop down list to component of the type. And the type is going to be equal to skeleton. You can preview the results if you want. So there are 25 skeletons here. Let's click the OK button and then click OK once more. And this is the new layer that I've created. The icon indicates that it is driven by a rule. Let me right click and hide it and then repaint the screen. And now that I've hidden all the skeletons, the stipling goes away. And to give you a little more indication of this assembly, let me select on this big bucket component and I'm going to hide it so you can see some of the other different components in here. And again, there's some nice little detail in the different parts, especially in the braking assembly. So I recommend that you check that out. Okay, let's go back to the top level assembly. 
And let me go to the second subassembly in here. And this one, you will notice some of the different components from videos that I've made. And these are fully featured models. So for example, let me click on the valve cover and then expand it in the model tree. So you see that it's got all the different features in here. So it's a feature rich model. And another one that you've definitely seen in a lot of my different videos. Let me go to this assembly and then open it up and here you can see we have our transmission. Let me grab this component and hide it so that you can see the detail of the different gears inside of here. So again, just a lot of quality stuff that you have available to you. Let me go back to the top level assembly again. And let's go to the third sub-assembly in the model. And this one is for the car body. You can see that there are not that many sub-assemblies in here. There are actually not that many components. I do want to point out that some of the base surfaces for these components are missing. So, for example, we've got this part over here that is in an assembly with a skeleton model. If I right-click on the skeleton model, I can go to Information and then Reference Viewer. And we can see that that there is a missing model. So some of the references, especially some references for copy geometry features are missing. So you're not gonna have everything necessary in order to see how these different components were made, but you're gonna have a lot available to you. And so again, that is the World Car Assembly model, which you can download and then play around with and do a lot of great stuff with.